Hi, how are you? It's Friday. You're feeling all right? I know um, if you're watching this and you're a lady and you're planning for a sleepover, you know that's when it happens on Fridays, I remember um, vividly well. Uh, if you stay with your parents, you probably concocted a story and told your mom. You know, mom, I told you about uh, Agnes's Shiro's uh, birthday. My friend Shiro, we were in college together. Yeah, she's turning 28. And then, you know, mom, uh, the way um, she's about to be fianced, and we were thinking we just do something small as girls in Naivasha. All the while, you're going to John's house for a good, intense weekend for Friday, Saturday, <laughs> and Sunday. And now you have to prepare your mom because, of course, you cannot say that you're going to a session. Your mom knows you're a virgin. Yes? <laughs> anyway, it's Friday. I was thinking to keep it light. Uh, I, I know we said we talk about differences between men and women. Let's push it forward for some other day. You've got feeling sometime next week. Uh, I've read a bit uh, of uh, the human history in autobiographies. I love autobiographies because they depict a realness if they are written well. I've read about Muhammad Ali, um, I've read about uh, Sidney Poitier, I've read about uh, the legend Bob Marley, TPOK Jazz uh, lead bassist Franco Luambo Macchiadi, and it's fascinating. Uh, now, one of the common denominators, if you read a lot of autobiographies, you see that uh, success and failure are both intentional and predictable. You could totally predict success. You can. You can predict success. I've read about Usain Bolt and his crazy running and how he'd wake up every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Story for another day. Uh, but I've been thinking about marriage. One of the conversations I've been having lately with a lot of my friends, some of them got married in their late 20s. Many of them are leaving marriage uh, for a myriad of reasons. Their marriages are coming to an end. So I've been thinking about marriage. And uh, because it's Friday, and I know at around 3 a.m., when you're lying on John's chest, you're likely to ask, so have you decided what we are, John? I mean, surely, come, we've been having coitus without interrupt <laughs> for seven months and you're not saying anything. And then uh, John will be like, Abebu, it's just, me, I'm feeling the vibe. It's, it's, it's just coming along. I like you, you like me. Why do we complicate things with these things? Anyway. <laughs> so, yes. So, I've been thinking about marriage and why people get married, you know. I'm in that age where, uh, if my mom were alive, we were discussing with my sister. My mom passed on uh, six years ago. Yes. We were discussing with my sister the other day that if my mom were alive, she'd have probably been maybe not pressuring us, but just having a conversation around, when are you planning to get married? What's happening in that area? Why are you guys so quiet about this marriage stuff? So I was thinking about marriage as it pertains to healthy reasons to get married. You know, somebody once said that... Uh, if you can't do it right, don't do it yet. And I believe that 100%. And uh, one of the things most of my friends, at least in the initial stages, I remember one time I was in South Africa, my friend called me and he said, oh my goodness, I met this gorgeous woman. You wouldn't believe it. She's so hot, you guy. The waist is just, yo, ho, tiny. And, uh, you know, he went on to describe this woman's features. And then later on, we were having a conversation when he was about to get married. We had a conversation for many, many hours. And I was asking him to tell me why he's getting married to her. And he was just dancing around many, many things, which I thought were frivolous. I was just like, those are frivolous things. And I told him, I said, I, I don't think those things qualify, but it's your decision. I'll support you. I love you, man. You're my friend. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yes. So, most of us look at charisma or charisma. Charisma, Cindy. Yes, charisma. A lot of us look at charisma and not so much character. And then uh, things go belly up after that. But I want to talk very quickly about things I think are unhealthy reasons for getting married. And this is because of not my own personal experience, but having observed and had conversations and really read um, they say experience is not the best teacher. Sometimes you just have to look at people who've experienced those things. 
and then you avoid them for yourself okay so let's have a quick chat about um, unhealthy reasons to get married one of the unhealthy reasons for getting married even as you're going to uh, lie on John's chest this Friday you have to really um, really really think about this is to have sex you know I've heard people say that I'm just randy, I'm randy, I cannot wait. Actually, as, as some lady once told me that she couldn't wait any longer to have sex, so she just had to do it. They rushed through things uh, two months in, and she was just like, Fuchs, I needed coitus, I wanted a banana, a banana. <laughs> so she got married, and I think it's a terrible reason. I mean, sex is amazing, but it cannot be the reason for you to do forever with somebody if forever is your intention so that's the first reason in my mind i want to get married to have sex i i think you need more reasons than that what do you think marrying on rebound this is quite popular you know john left me but now he's coming around maybe he realized his mistake i came this time simwachi simwachi hivi ndoa pop we're going to the AG's office. <laughs> I think that's a horrible, uh, unhealthy reason to get married. The third thing I was thinking about is a terrible reason to get married, or unhealthy reason to get married, is fear of independence. All right? You're so afraid of being alone. I've had uh, friends of mine who are girls and even boys tell me, oh my goodness, as in two, it's just so hard. I just, like... I have never stayed alone, so I just have to meet somebody we couple up quickly. Um, not wise, not wise at all. Funny enough, I'm alone. I love being alone. Is anybody out there like me? I love being alone. I wonder if when I get married, how I'll cope with being with somebody. I'm so used to being alone in my space. But well, maybe somebody right will come along and change all of that. Um, a fear of hurting other people. Oh my goodness. So I was once in a relationship with this woman and I was traveling quite a bit at that time. So I was going to the States and coming back and going and coming back. And then now she told me that everybody knows that she's been dating this guy. And it would be so weird if she said that she's falling in love with somebody else. And now, you know, she just has to marry the guy. That was her reason for getting married of course we would long broken up when we we're having that conversation and i was saying that i think that is not a good reason i'm not an expert but it doesn't sound like that is a reason it's like no but i know his mom and 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 uh, he knows my mom and we've hung out together and we've gone to their house i mean come on what do people say fear of hurting other people it could be families friends and uh, even the person you're dating you're just like i've dated john or peter for so long surely to not marry them come on after dating someone for seven years and then i don't marry them i see they'll be hurt don't marry him don't marry her i think that's a terrible idea it's an unhealthy reason to be a therapist or a counselor for the other person you know agnes there's a way just Agnes needs me. There's a way Paul just needs me. Paul is so delicate, babes. Babes. Paul is so delicate. Imagine that man, if I leave that man, he'll just crumble. He's so delicate. I've cancelled him all through until now. <laughs> Since he was in Standard 7. So now I leave him, so he'll take his life. I can't have to marry him. Terrible. Don't do it. Don't do it, you're not a therapist. Uh, because of pregnancy, oh my goodness, there's another reason. But now, so I'm pregnant, so now, so now, like this child needs like a dad, but that can be a reason to get married. He just made you pregnant, he didn't propose. It's a huge difference. Or you made her pregnant, it's terrible, I'm sorry, but it's not a good reason to get married. To spite parents, I've heard that a lot, I've heard that. My mom has controlled me, she decided the course I should do in campus, not this time, not this time, this time. 
I am getting this man whether she likes it or not. To spite your parents, that's not a good reason to get married. What do you think? What do you think? You know, one of the things I've learned um, is to try much as you can to learn about yourself. Learn as much as you can about yourself. I keep saying that um, there are two important relationships, but one supersedes the other. The first one is intra-personal relationship, then inter-personal relationship. Intra is relationship with self. Inter is relationship with others. When you get intra right, you're likely to get inter better. But a lot of us are so big on having it right with other people. But very little do we pay any mind to knowing about ourselves. So learn first who you are and then try much as you can to deny anybody who treats you less than you deserve access. I've done that and it's worked wonders in my life. Uh, just finally, a very useful uh, heuristic to remember. I got these from Charles Manga, the vice president of um, Berkshire Hathaway. What's that guy's name, the billionaire's name? Who is his vice? Uh, that guy who wears glasses, who eats uh, fast food. Uh, Warren Buffett, yes. Warren Buffett's uh, vice said something I found spectacular. Uh, he said that to get what you deserve, you have to deserve what you want. So how to get a good spouse, he said, the best single way is to deserve a good spouse. I thought that was important, right? And as it said, as uh, karma has no menu, you get served what you deserve. So I think sometimes uh, the life hasn't gotten crazy enough to dish out things to people who aren't deserving. So the other question then can be, are you healthy as a single individual to be coupled up with somebody in marriage? I don't know. Maybe a conversation to have while you're lying on uh, John's chest tonight. If you won't be too drunk, that is. I think it's important. If success is predictable, then we can prevent failure. Right? I, I, I think. Yes, so speak soon. Let me go to the gym. It's a Friday challenge at my gym. I'll try and share some pictures. It's intense. So I'm going to lift some heavy weights. And uh, I didn't put on my Marvin. My cleaning lady came and uh, washed everything. So, yeah. Have a good one and take care. Speak soon. Bye.